Hello dear students, I am Dr. Moinuddin. In this video, we are going to discuss about Quality Assurance QA. Quality Assurance is also another important parameter just like Quality Control, which actually guarantees the quality of the product. And it is the guarantee from the manufacturer towards the consumer of that product. So in this video, we'll see quality assurance in detail. Before starting the video, if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, then subscribe it right now and also press the bell icon so you may get in touch with my upcoming videos. Quality assurance is a positive declaration on a product or service. So it's a declaration and it is a positive declaration which is given for some product or the service provided by that company. It provides guarantee that the product will work without any problems as per our expectations or requirements. And actually it is the guarantee whenever it is a common practice that when we purchase some item or something so we have some expectations or there are some requirements of us so quality assurance actually it's guarantee the that the product will work without any problem and it will be it will meet all our expectations and requirements it is a part of quality management focused on providing confidence that quality requirement will be fulfilled so it is a part of quality management and it actually provides the confidence uh, that the quality requirements uh, they will be fulfilled quality assurance is fundamentally focused on planning and documenting those processes to assure quality including things such as quality plans inspection and test plans so proper planning is done here and everything is documented here included also the various processes involved during the manufacturing of that product or providing some services and these plannings include the various quality plans inspection plans and various test plans Examples of quality assurance include internal and external audit. These are the common practices which are made by some companies or industries. Then process checklists, there are process checklists and there are proper documentations. Quality assurance has a defined cycle which is called PDCA cycle or Derming cycle. And this PDCA actually it stands for plan, do, check and act. So this cycle is called quality assurance cycle which is shown over here. We can say plan, do, check and act. So plan means to plan something uh, to, uh, for, uh, to assure uh, the quality of the product. Then do mean to perform those uh, measures check is to monitor while act is to improve the quality of the product these steps are repeated to ensure that the processes followed in the organization are evaluated and improved on a periodic basis so these steps are repeated time and again to make sure that the processes which are opted in some organization so whether they are properly evaluated and improved uh, to get to get the final product of the desired quality so let's start with plan organization should plan and establish the process related objects and determine processes that are required to deliver a high quality end product so organizations should do proper planning and they must establish the process by keeping the end product in their mind. 
so that they can uh, and then they uh, and then they should perform the process and by keeping all these things in their mind they will get the product the end product of desired quality the next part of the cycle is do it deals with the development and testing of processes so processes are developed and these are tested and also there are some do changes in the processes so if some changes are required so they may also be done over here then the third step of the cycle is check which deals with the monitoring processes so processes are monitored carefully over here they may be modified so modify the processes and check whether it meets the predetermined objectives and the last step of the cycle is act and it deals with implement actions that are necessary to achieve improvements in the process so various uh, changes uh, which uh, which someone think that these are required these are desired so those actions are implemented over here and the goal of all these things are mean to improve the process and to get the product of fine quality an organization must use quality assurance to ensure that the product is designed and implemented with correct procedures so quality assurance must be followed by all the organizations because this helps to reduce problems and errors in the final products so the final product is of desired quality if some organization observe quality assurance now we will see the comparison between quality control versus quality assurance so first thing in quality control that it deals with product while quality assurance deals with process so let me explain this quality control represents a set of activities that focuses on identifying defects in the product that you create Quality control is typically the last controlled process that a product will go through before it is shipped. As such, an effective quality process act as a buffer between defective products and the customer. While if we talk about quality assurance, so it can be defined as the activities for ensuring quality in the processes by which products are developed. Then quality control is reactive while quality assurance is proactive. So quality control is reactive in its approach while quality assurance is proactive in its approach because Quality control is all about detecting defects in a product that has already been produced while quality assurance is about improving processes in order to prevent those defects. Then third one is quality control deals with line function while quality assurance deals with staff function. So what are these? Let me explain. A line function is one that directly advances an organization in its core work. This always includes production, sales and sometimes also marketing. While a staff function supports the organization with specialized advisory and support functions. For example, human resources, accounting, public relations and the legal department are generally considered to be the staff functions. The next one is quality control deals with find the defects while quality assur assurance deals with prevent the defects. So quality control actually now product has been formed and we have tested it and there are found some defects so now they will deal to find that what are defects while quality assurance actually it is it is the planning before before manufacturing the products 
so it deals with the proper planning so that these defects could be prevented the next parameter quality control deals with walkthrough while quality assurance deals with quality audit so quality control walkthrough is a process in which project stakeholders are walked through a project deliverable and given the opportunity to ask questions, raise concerns, or make suggestions. While quality audit is the process of systematic examination of a quality system carried out by an internal or external quality auditor or an audit team. Then quality control deal with testing of final product while quality assurance deals with defining processes the processes which are used which are involved to design that final product and the quality control deals with checkpoint review while quality assurance deals with trainings checkpoints are used to determine whether the processes are meeting an acceptable level of quality while trainings are the staff which is which are involved in, uh, during various processes so they should be properly trained now we will see what could be the be best practices for quality assurance so create a robust testing environment so we must create a powerful testing environment where all types of tests can be performed easily select criteria carefully then apply automated testing to high risk areas to save money and it uh, it helps to fasten the process automation testing is a software testing technique that performs using special automated testing software tools to execute a test case the automation testing software can also enter test data into the system under test compare it may it can compare expected and actual results and generate detailed test reports so in this way it helps to fasten the process then to allocate time appropriately for each process then it is important to prioritize bugs fixes based on software usage many different types of programming bugs that create errors with system implementation may require specific bug fixes that are successfully resolved by a development or other IT team then to form dedicated security and performance testing team and then finally simulate customer accounts similar to our production environment now we will see the various quality assurance functions so there are five primary quality assurance functions let's see number one is technology transfer it involves getting a product design document together with trial and error data and its evaluation so it's a document uh, uh, which also include the trial and error data and its evaluation is also included in all this document so this document is distributed checked and approved then number two is validation here validation master plan for entire system is prepared approval of test criteria for validating product and process is set then resource planning for execution of a validation plan is also done in this step then third function is documentation this function controls the distribution and recording of documents any change in a document is made by adopting the proper change control procedure 
Then number fourth function is assuring quality of products. And number fifth function is quality improvement plans. So this all made the quality assurance functions. Then finally, we will see quality assurance certifications. So there are several certifications available in industry to ensure that organizations follow standard quality processes. So one of the example is quoted over here and that is ISO 9000, ISO 9000. So it is a certification. This standard was first established in 1987. It is related to quality management systems. It helps an organization while ensuring the quality to their customers and other stakeholders. So it deals with the quality of the product. An organization who wishes to be certified as ISO 9000 is audited based on their functions, products, services and their processes. So any organization who want to be certified as ISO 9000, so that our organization is audited. And audit, 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 their audit is based on their function, their product, their services, and their processes. The main object is to review and verify whether the organization is following the process as expected and to check whether existing processes need any improvement and this certification helps to increase the profit of organization to improve domestic and international trade it helps to reduce waste and increases the productivity of employees working in that organization and it provides excellent customer satisfaction so dear students this was all about current video but still there are a large number of videos in the pipeline so to get them in touch with all of those videos you need to subscribe my channel so thanks for watching thank you very much